So I want to talk about some signs that you might be noticing if you're suffering with chronic disconnection. So number one, anxiety, high levels of anxiety, that kind of panicky feeling. We can kind of feel that energy rising up, starting to feel a bit triggered and overwhelmed. Uh, and we can get really stuck in our head, start overthinking and get stuck in negative self-talk and cycles and loops, um, replaying different beliefs and things that aren't serving us. And it can hold us in that state. Um, there's also the sign of depression. So when you're starting to feel maybe really exhausted or tired or really low, you don't really want to get out of bed, feeling like, what's the point? What's the point in going on? Um, is this really all there is? Maybe this is, um, I'm just not going to be able to break free of this. And we can feel really hopeless and helpless. And there's also the feeling of isolation that you're all alone and and you're the only one going through this and there's something wrong with you and that's why you're having these experiences maybe you're feeling like you're broken or there's a screw loose or there's something just not quite right um and we can really take it we can really get consumed by that experience and really feel like we're the only one um, and it can be quite scary to reach out and ask for support and let people know what's going on because of that fear of judgment what will people think about me um, so that's another sign that could be playing out for you. There's also the strategy of numbing out because we are feeling so disconnected, so afraid, so much pain um, and suffering that's going on. And it can be really painful to feel the emotions, feel what's being held inside until we can start to numb out. Numbing out looks different for all of us. So we might go to substances, we might go to alcohol, binge watching Netflix or a TV series or something like that. Being addicted to screen time, being on your phone a lot. Um, yeah, and it can be, there can be a lot of dissociation involved as well. Disengaged, lacking presence. You can be talking to someone and instantly forget what they've said. It's not been registered because we're not really here. There's also, the sign of being extremely busy and using a coping mechanism of staying busy and having that never ending to do list and rushing around and always got to be doing something. This is how we avoid feeling what's inside and that is a sign that you are disconnected. So why am I talking about this? First, we need to, in order to reconnect to ourselves and to feel more joy, fulfillment and meaning in our lives, we need to have the awareness of what we're doing and how we are disconnected from ourselves. Because when we shine that light of awareness, we have the ability to take our power back and then choose a new way of being, a new way of dealing with, with what's going on. If you are disconnected, there is likely quite a lot that has been stuck inside for quite some time and it can be really overwhelming to even think about going into that especially alone it can be so overwhelming to think if i go into this emotion if i really let myself feel this will i survive will i be able to get back out or will i just be stuck in that space forever will i get myself into a bit of a hole that i won't be able to get back out of and that can be terrifying there is a reason why we have suppressed these emotions. They were overwhelming to feel at another time. And so we pushed them down because we didn't have the tools or the support or the community, the safe space within ourselves to deal with it. And when we can go, when we go into that overwhelm and if we go into an emotion that we can't really handle, we don't know how to handle, don't know how to process, it can be re-traumatizing. So it is quite a scary thing. And it does come with a lot of intensity and a lot of feeling of overwhelm when the emotions start to come up, especially if we haven't felt them for a really long time. So it's really important when you start to dive into this stuff, when you start to peel back those layers and go into feeling these emotions, that you have a support system, that you have some sort of community or support, whether that's a friend, a family member, a mentor, a therapist, a coach, um, an online community, uh, maybe a group that you go to in person, whatever it is for you, but having a safe container where you can be held with love and compassion. If you don't have something like this, please reach out. I will be happy to support you in finding what is right for you. So number one, make sure that you're feeling supported in some way. 
and it can be really scary and really vulnerable to ask for that support and so if you again don't have someone or have something please reach out take that step to going within and reconnecting and healing these layers so the next thing that i want to talk about is why what's why go into this stuff because if it's so overwhelming and it comes with a lot of um, pain and intensity and going into those deep emotions that we didn't want to feel for so long why do it well when you're disconnected and when you're numbing out from one emotion say it be anger frustration grief sadness not feeling good enough not worthy whatever it is that you're avoiding feeling when you numb out to that you're numbing out to all of the the good stuff as well that you might be wanting more of in your life so joy peace balance love fulfillment meaning passion you are numbing out to all of that as well you can't block out one without the other and so we tend to go on this emotional roller coaster of intense highs and lows and stress going into that stress response and living from stress response which is exhausting we're not designed to be in that space for a long period of time so when we start to go in and feel these emotions and release them we create space to allow more love and joy and peace into our lives we allow the space to become to connected with who we are and what we're truly passionate about we unlock our creativity and our ability to create our lives the way that we wish them to be we are able to open up to receiving, receiving new potentials and opportunities and possibilities. This doesn't mean that we never feel the stuff again that we have been avoiding. What it means is that we build our resilience, we build our internal strength, we take, we tap into our personal power, and we are now able to flow with all the different emotions more freely, more smoothly. We're able to lean into the discomfort and it doesn't last as long because we're allowing ourselves to feel it in the moment rather than resisting and what we resist persists, it lingers. And it'll linger for months, years, decades until we decide, yep, okay, it's time to deal with it. And it usually isn't until we get to such an incredible pain point that it's like, something's got to change, I can't do this anymore. So I want to ask you, where are you at on that journey? How much more pain do you need in order to kind of propel you into finding a new way propel you into finding that support system and that safe place for you to start expressing yourself feeling what's inside and start reconnecting to who you truly are your authenticity and living the life that is available to you right now that life beyond your wildest dreams just like i have for myself and it was not an easy journey but it was truly worth it. I am truly living a life beyond my wildest dreams and it is not easy. Um, even this past week and a half has been quite a challenging time where I've been going through quite a deep healing process where I have felt a lot of contraction, a lot of intense emotion and limiting beliefs coming up in order to heal and resolve those, integrate those and come into greater expansion, opening up to greater possibilities, stepping more fully into my potential and what I want to create, not only for myself, but for our community. So, yeah, <laughs> where to from here? What can you do to take a step toward reconnecting? Because like I said, when we dive in sometimes too deeply or when we dive into the emotions that we've been holding inside it can be re-traumatizing if you're on your own and feeling quite isolated so number one find a supportive community or a support system that resonates for you whether that's a friend whether it's a mentor or a coach whether it's a community of some sort maybe it's online whatever it is for you if you don't have one, please reach out and I will be happy to support you in finding something that resonates for you. If you resonate with me and my story and you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, reach out. I do have um, offerings available to support you, as well as our free online community that you're always welcome. Next, I actually want to guide you in just a, a short process here to start reconnecting to yourself on a physical level. So when we're disconnected, we tend to be disconnected physically, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. It can be quite overwhelming of like, where do I even start? 
what can I do? So let's just start with a simple process here and now, closing down your eyes and noticing your breath. Don't change anything. Sometimes we're like, we start to tune into our breath and then we think we've got to breathe this way or that way. Let's just notice what's here and now. How is your breath flowing? Is it shallow? Is it deep? Does it flow more into your belly, chest, throat? Does it feel constricted or expanded? Does it flow with ease? Or is there a bit of challenge with your breath? A bit of tension in the body? Just noticing. And starting to notice any sensations in your body. Scanning from head to toe. What do you feel? Maybe some tingling. Is there a temperature, texture or colour that you notice? Tension. Spaciousness. Maybe there's some numbness. And there's no wrong or right here. We're just noticing, becoming the observer. And then together, let's take three deep cleansing breaths. So in through the nose, fully into the belly. And as you exhale, exhale out of the mouth with a sigh. And again. Last one. Just notice if anything shifted in your body, any new sensations, how you're feeling. If your breath has changed. And you can stay here for as long as you feel. And just continue to notice what is here. And this is that first step to coming back into the present, back into your body, connecting with your sensations. And as we start to become aware of what we're feeling with no attachment to what it means, we're starting to come home. We're starting to create safety in our physical body. And when we start to feel safer in our physicality, it opens us up to go that little bit deeper in reconnecting to who you truly are. Mm. Coming back whenever you're ready. I want to thank you for being here, for joining me today. This is part one of this video series of Deep Connection. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where I'm going to share a little bit more about my journey. My journey from disconnection to reconnecting. My journey from self-hatred and the fear and the... Mm, yeah, the feeling of just really being completely disconnected on a physical, emotional, mental and spiritual level and how I journeyed over the last eight years to come back to who I truly am, to remember my authenticity and to create the life that I've really, really desired and dreamed of and brought it into the physical reality. All right. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for being here. Remember that you can use that practice as often as you need to, to continue deepening that connection to your physical self.
thank you for listening thank you for being here if you are loving this content be sure to subscribe so that you are notified when new episodes are released i'd love to hear from you leave a comment below and share anything that came up for you anything that resonated sending you so much love